the customers today that we have are extremely empowered. Uh, they, they interact with your brand in their own terms. They work across the channels in their own terms. And they demand us of, you know, ex uh, excellence in the customer experience, which is very difficult to kind of manage. In this scenario, we think that there are three key trends that help you to manage and uh, you know, uh, kind of con control this customer engagement problem. And the first trend is innovation in sales. Every organization, whether you take banking, financial services, insurance, or telecom, they have to continuously evolve and innovate the products that they sell. So the innovation in sales requires a strong amount of intelligence from the customer behaviors that you can imbibe and then create new products and services. So in the example that we are working, we are working with insurance companies to understand how a telemetry information can be taken into the Pega marketing and Pega CDH capability, drive the, drive the innovation by understanding the data that comes out of the uh, data, uh, data that comes out of the car uh, using the driver patterns and analysis and change the policies and the claim time schedules if at all that is required. Uh, some of the examples are, for example, if, you, uh, if it's a telecom organization that we are working with, uh, we understand how the tariffs and the, and the product plans have been used by their customers and then create a feedback mechanism inside the, uh, inside the uh, sales process so that we can change dynamically those plans where they have not been used or where they have to be improved. So innovation in sales using the artificial intelligence capabilities that Prega provides, uh, these are the examples that we are working upon. The another example that I would uh, kind of mention is the claims processing uh, you know, uh, for an insurance. We are working upon how a small goods scheme processing uh, can be completely stayed through by doing some image analytics, natural language processing uh, at the edge. For example, I can create, uh, I can basically click a photo of my broken TV, send it for the processing. I can score the claim, and the claim can pass through. The reason is because the cost of the claim for the small goods uh, doesn't justify the cost that you actually spent for, you know, the complete manual process to be done. So this is an example on the artificial intelligence that we are using in in the insurance industry. The next trend that I'm going to talk about is automation in service. Now we all know that the service is all about cost takeout. You know, you have already sold a product. Uh, if the person calls at the contact center, the cost takeout has to be there. Uh, we are working with uh, some, you know, very very large bank in US, and we have implemented a robotic process automation and desktop process automation in such a way uh, that we have, uh, you know, we have kind of able to kind of get the manual work uh, automated in such a way that we have able to get the average handling time. Uh, reduced by about 80 percent. We are talking about here an FT reduction of around 40 percent by just doing an implementation of RPA and a DPA. We are also talking about the same same solution uh, have actually got the process turnaround time reduced from eight hours to six minutes. Now that's a massive reduction uh, and this is we have done for mortgage processes uh, spanning across uh, wholesale and the consumer line of businesses. So that's one example of how automation services can bring, you know, uh, bring a much difference using the Pega AI and the Pega CDH capabilities along with the RPA and DPA. Another example of the automation of service is that, uh, you know, for an OEM in US, we are doing text analytics of the emails and the web forms that are submitted for queries and complaints. Uh, we use natural language processing for doing that and also kind of make it more predictive of which route that particular request will go because you're already reading those in, an, in a more, more effective manner rather than having to see a manual agent seeing those particular emails and routing it manually. Uh, we bring that into, an, into a routing, routing engine which actually routes to the right agent by, di by dynamically looking at the emails, but also further enriching the case with, which it creates and opens. So for example, if we understand that this query is complaining for billing, then we enrich the case with a lot of billing information and in that particular context of the customer. So the agent is already well informed about what an action have to be taken or what an what an process have to be executed. So that's that's one another example of automation in service. The next trend that we see is uh, is monetization of value moments. 
Uh, now, venotation and value movement is a bit of a new concept. I mean, I'm not talking here about an NBA and an NBO stuff. Uh, let's take an example that I'm sitting at home uh, for a fine weekend, and I'm you know kind of uh, thought about testing my uh, 4K subscription and started watching a movie. Uh, and my wife, at the, my wife at the same time decides to kind of you know hear, uh, listen to some songs uh, again uh, on the same on the same broadband capacity. And at the same time, my son decides to kind of play network Minecraft. Now, the emotion at the home is not that good because no matter what we say, the millennials are not compromising anything in the family. Now, this problem uh, you know, is, a, is, a, is a problem that you can monetize. So my service provider sends me a notification saying that I can understand that your bandwidth, uh, or the broadband bandwidth is at the peak. Uh, I can, for a one, one pound or a two, I can exchange the capacity temporarily for three hours uh, and you should be good. Now for that time, you know, I would just pay it and my emotions at the home are completely fine. Now that is the value moment monetization. You know, identifying the behavior of the customer, identifying the context of the customer and not creating offers and, and recommendations just for the sake of it and spamming it. Now, this is what something that we are doing with some of the customers. You know, if you, if you would like to kind of uh, learn more about it, we can, we can discuss in our booth. But this is the value, uh, you know, monetization of value moments is something that we are, we are, we are, we are, uh, we are doing with multiple other customers. Uh, in this whole thing, what we see is the power of data along with Pega CDH and Pega RP and DPA, which is robotics and AI together, can bring in substantially markably difference in, in, in the complete ecosystem of your organization by driving a lot of automation and also delivering an you know, excellence in customer experience. Uh, the example that I gave you earlier, you know, where we did the text analytics and got an, uh, got an elevated agent experience. Now that was nothing to do with the customer experience, actually it was more of an agent experience that we actually elevated. But by just doing that, the responsiveness for the agent to the customer has been, has been substantially increased. And, and without even targeting the NPS, the organization was able to kind of increase the net promoter score by 5%. And 5% is a huge difference without even targeting that. So you never know that when you start implementing such capabilities, which are so powerful, you can get a massive difference using Pega and obviously Infosys to kind of bring that difference into your organization. I think you have been a great audience today. Uh, I would really like to meet you in the Infosys booth. Uh, I've given you some examples and the numbers, but how did we achieve that? You know, what was a program timeline, what people were, whether it's in prototype or whether it's in real life that we are doing it. All of those questions I can take care in the Infosys booth and we are available there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.